Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica Lujan. This video is going to be another empties. I do a lot of these videos, as you can see in my channel. I like to go over the products that I've used, give you guys my overall review, and kind of just let you guys know if I will be repurchasing the products. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first product I have, I actually have two of these because yes, I've gone through two bottles of these. This is the uh, Eva New York City, I believe that. That is uh, the best I can do there. <laughs> so these are the 10-in-1 primer, not 2-in-1, guys. This is a 10-in-1 primer. So I don't know. It's, I guess it got a lot of things in here. But let me just talk about the packaging first. I hated the packaging. Hate, hate, hate. These are so flimsy. I hated these little spray. It broke. and Or I don't know if it broke, honestly, but it broke. And it just started leaking. So every time I would spray... It would just leak leak and it, it was just it was so hard because I can't spray it when it's like leaking so I had to like sometimes pour it on my hand rub it on my hands like apply it on my hair um, I ended up even just putting it in a little travel little travel spray and just spraying that on my hair and just getting rid of these bottles but yeah I just hated the packaging one of these did break really bad the other one wasn't too bad but I just still like this this little spray thing I just don't like I don't like I don't like this whatever this is this needs to go this little part needs to go other than that I mean the product itself wasn't bad it smelled pretty good I like that this thing I believe you can use it when your hair is wet and dry I've used it on both and it works great so that's what I like because some of the products will say you only put it on with wet hair only put it on with dry hair this one I was able to put it on with both and it worked well so that's that. So the next product I have here is the Christopher Robin Paris um, Scrub Cleansing Purifying Scrub. And this is for your scalp. This product, I, I actually did not like this because when you apply a little bit and you start kind of working it in your scalp, it starts to cling onto a lot of your hair and it almost like, I felt like it was tangling it. I don't know if it was just me, but I did not like that. Now the reason why this is empty is because I actually gave it to my husband. I'm like, hey, do you wanna try this? See if you like it. He tried it, obviously he has short hair. So when he put this on, he loved it. It's great for his hair. He was able to massage it in there. And of course, I feel a lot of it has to do with, he doesn't have a lot of hair. He just works it in the scalp and he's good to go. With me, I had to like go in there and it was like getting all stuck in my hair. Didn't like that, didn't like that one bit, but he liked it. He said he really liked it. And then especially I gave him like a little scalp brush and he was able to like work it in his scalp. Love this thing. I didn't like it. So those are my thoughts on that one. All right, so speaking of scrubs, these are body scrubs. The first one is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. And then the second one is the Tree Hut. This is the Vanilla Bean um, Shea Sugar Scrub. I, out of these two, I love these better. This one, I, I don't like. Let me tell you, it smells really good. It feels really good. It's really gentle. Love that about it. It gets really, really messy. I have tile in my bathroom and it's all tile, like from top to bottom tile. Well, this thing gets like stuck in the crevices, like it gets like everywhere and it's hard to clean it on my tile shower so it was a mess i didn't like that about this this one i like just because this one didn't do that this one was really nice to apply it was gentle i love that i don't like hard scrubs i want something gentle and this one was really nice it smell amazing all right the next product is these touch land power mist hydrating hand sanitizers i bought like the big set that we believe there was like five of them or six of them in the holiday gift value pack from Sephora. These are amazing. I've already, I've, I don't even know how many I've gone through. I've gone through so many of these and I also went ahead and bought another set that just came in the mail for from Sephora as well. And I love these. They're just, they smell so good. They smell clean. I like that. The only thing I didn't like is like, I don't know if you could see this one. See how it's all cracked? That's because I left it in my car, which I know you should not be leaving hand sanitizers in your car, but I still do. And yeah, it like cracked. The sun killed this thing and it even like got fat too. You can't really see, but it got, it got super fat. So uh, yeah, that kind of sucked. But other than that, great product. I will continue to be buying those. All right. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation Brush. I 
and I'm usually, and you're probably thinking like, why are you getting rid of a foundation brush? Let me tell you why. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened, but see how like the bristles are coming off? Well, it just, it's just shedding. Now it's just shedding, it's just shedding. And I thought, okay, maybe I could just put some glue on it on the bottom and see how like I pop it up. It just, it, it shattered. Look at that, there's like hair coming out of there. And it's, yeah, I didn't, I was, I was thinking of putting the the glue on there, but then it won't be even and then look how messy that looks. Like look at that. Yeah, this is this this got to go. Don't don't get me wrong. The brush is amazing. Like when you apply your foundation, it feels so good. I'm just kind of disappointed in how like mine just broke like that. So, um yeah, that sucks. That really does suck. I won't be buying another one though because these are really expensive. Not super expensive, but they're more on the pricey side. But yeah, I just, I have a ton of foundation brushes. I wanted to try Selena's brand out because I'm a big fan of Selena and her products are great. So I wanted to try this and it, it was wonderful. The only part is that this happened to my brush. So that sucks. Okay, so the next one here is, this is the Yummy Skin, the DM Yummy Skin. I don't know. I know there's more to it. I don't think it's just DM, but it's Yummy Skin. This is number four. And so this is supposed to be kind of like a blurring balm. Um, I've already used it all up, as you can tell. But I really like this. I really like this. It was easy for me to apply on my skin, and it melted really well, blended really well. I just, I think I'm just gonna stick to foundations though, just because I'm, I'm more, I'm more of a foundation girl. I like the foundations. This one's gonna be just a pass for me. All right. I don't know if I've talked about this one. Maybe I've talked about the. No, I don't think I have. I don't think I don't think I have this uh, I received them with Fat Fun Box. I have this one and I also had a pink one from this is from Frank Body by the way. These are like um, coffee sugar scrubs. So these ones my other pink one is somewhere in my empties pile somewhere, but these ones I really liked because these leave your skin like baby soft super super soft amazing amazing so i like that the other thing i didn't like about it is that it did get messy too and again that's because i have the my tile shower so a lot of things kind of just get stuck there it's not good but yeah other than that really great product i loved it i will re be repurchasing these again all right so the last product is this this is the gisu 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 i'm not sure how to say that this is the honey infused hair oil um, I like the packaging. It's cute. The only thing, I wasn't a fan of the smell. This brand in particular, I don't know what it is, but their smells, I just, I don't like their smells. I just don't like how it smells. So that's like the only down part about it. But other than that, great hair oil. Next product here, this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And I love these things. I... I don't know, I think I've gone through like two of them so far. Now this one, I went through it really quickly and the only reason why I went through this quickly was because my son had put a makeup brush in there and just like shoved it in there and spread all over my, my counter. So I got a lot of this product gone because of that. So yeah, but it's an amazing product, very hydrating on your lips, very, very nice and makes your lips look juicy. I love it. These are nice. Another product here, this is a beauty sponge and this is, I don't know what the brand is called, Pow, I believe. I'm gonna list it down below, but it is from Amazon and it comes in a pack of like six of these and they're very inexpensive, but they are amazing. They feel very similar to a beauty blender, very, very similar. So I thought that was great for the price point and it leaves your makeup looking nice and flawless. So I really like these. I think I've used like three of these already and I maybe we've talked about it in my channel before, I don't remember, but I'm still gonna list it down below if you're interested in purchasing these I got off of Amazon. They're amazing and inexpensive. Alrighty guys, that does complete my empties for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and we will see you in my next video. Bye.